res well, not response, generalization specifically, but generalization in general. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Oftentimes what we're trying to do is uh, uh, train somebody to do something, right? So sometimes it's training a new response. Um, we, for that, we're talking about shaping and chaining and all those things. Other times, it's just getting an old response to occur in the presence of a new stimulus. Um, so, in other words, something you're already doing, but we want to do it in a new context or in a new situation. Right? Um, so, when we're talking about that type of stuff, we're talking about generalization. Right? So, responding differently to stimuli or responding in different ways to the same stimuli, right? or responding in the same way to different stimuli, all sorts of things there. Okay? Uh, we want this to, typically, we want whatever we're training you to do to happen in more than one setting, right? We call that the training setting. So we're going to have to specifically program for that, right? So in order to program for that, we need to do several things and we need to talk about the training situation and the target situation. So if I want you to be able to perform a particular task, like let's say counting, okay, I can teach you how to count in one setting, but I probably want to try that with multiple stimuli, right? So I may want to teach you how to count with, uh, little pieces of paper, I may want to teach you how to count with beans or blocks or cars or all sorts of things. But the idea is, is that I'm trying to get you to respond different, or respond in the same way to multiple stimuli to be able to count. Right? Um, when we're thinking about behavioral issues though, let's say somebody's learned to do something in one situation, right? Uh, we want them to be able to do that in their natural environment. So we need to train as closely as possible to that target situation and we'll talk a little bit about that. So the first thing we want to look at is stimulus generalization. Right? Again, this is really part of stimulus control. This is kind of an extension of that chapter. Um, and we want a particular behavior to occur in the presence of multiple stimuli rather than just the same old one. Right? Um, so with stimulus generalization, we're going to say, all right, we're going to train you on this one discriminative stimulus here. And that's going to produce a desired response, let's say being polite. But we also want you to be polite in multiple settings. We don't just want you to be polite at home. We want you to be polite in the public, and we want you to be polite with other family members, okay? or at uh, extended family's houses or something like that. So the idea is we may have to actually go out and train in those new settings, uh, or we need to figure out ways to program that to actually happen for you to get reinforced in those environments. Right? It's not necessarily natural. Uh, for behavior automatically to occur, or for behavior that you've learned to automatically occur, occur in new environments. That's just the reality of it. It's very, behavior is very sensitive to context. Okay. The other type of thing we want to think about is response generalization. Okay. One response is always under stimulus control, right? So you, training discriminants produces a training uh, that particular response. Um, so what we then need to do is, or what we may want to do is train additional responses to that same discriminative stimulus. Um, so that's response generalization. Okay? Um, so the interesting thing to remember here is that we're not talking about training a new response for this additional response component here in these boxes. What we're talking about is taking a behavior that you already have, in other words, a behavior that's already in your repertoire, and connecting it to a new stimulus. Right? Um, so that way, you know, again, it's, it's not a new behavior. It's just getting you to perform that behavior in a new setting. Now, because you're being reinforced for one behavior, we're just trying to connect that reinforcers with multiple behaviors. That's essentially what we're doing here.